In our top story, in an exclusive interview with ANN7, Deputy Finance Minister Sifiso Botelezi defends the Finance Minister Malusi Kigaba's mini-budget. He says the budget statement was honest and that the lasting change needed a change in the structure of the economy. Let's take a listen to this. This morning I was in a, in a, in a business report, a breakfast show, uh, and there was a former ambassador, Duli, uh, who, said his, who said to us, I listened to the minister's speech. What I like with the minister's speech is that he didn't sugarcoat it, right? He says he, he identified problems very well to us, and we know where the problems are, but it also, that also gives us an opportunity to come and, and invest. And he says next week, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm here, I'm going to announce, we'll be coming with investors of about $1 billion investing in the South African economy. I must say that was a very unfortunate statement. In fact, it was an insult to uh, many South Africans who are victims of centuries of economic disenfranchisement, where, where the majority of this country uh, were only used to be providers of labor uh, for a few uh, to, to, to have the benefits of, 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 of that. So to say radical economic transformation, therefore, uh, I think it, it was vulgarizing it. But I must say that um, uh, I interact with a lot of, 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 of business people. I think at most they will say, explain exactly what do you, do you mean, right? And uh, um, um, there is a quote that, that uh, um, uh, the, the minister quoted from the, from, 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 the pre from the president, which talks about, literally about changing the structure of the economy for the benefit of everybody, broadly, right? So that, that can't be wrong, that can't be wrong. And uh, there's nobody, again, who's, who, who's saying, go and smash and grab. So these things, we've shown that we do things uh, 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 properly. So I'm, I'm, I'm then saying that our history, we can't run away from that. Um, of, of changing and making sure that uh, the majority of the people of this country, the black people and the Africans in, 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 in particular, also become e e economic citizens of this country. We are then saying, perhaps the radical part may, uh, one, it may mean that let's do that, uh, 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 let's be quick with doing that. Our people can't always be sitting on the margins and folding their arms and waiting that one day people will say, no, no, now we can, we, we can share. Contrary to the uh, 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 <clears throat> to the narrative out there, uh, which which says the, the previous board and especially the the chair uh, of, of 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 South African uh, South African Airways to to me was a problem at SAA. That's that's not true. In fact, uh, uh, now we know some of the things which are wrong at at, 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 South, Af at South African Airways, right? We know, for instance, now that uh, <clears throat> um, of of the 24 billion rand procurement spent, right, um, only about uh, um, 400 million rand, if my memory serves me well, is being spent on 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 on, on PE companies. That that can't be right. If you if you listened to the minister yesterday saying transformation and economic growth are not mutually exclusive, those two things they they must work uh, 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 with, with with each other. I'm then saying that <clears throat> what came out of there, we've got the reports uh, which, were, which were instituted by uh, the, former, the former chair there, that now want this board to look at them and see how they correct those, uh, some, some, some of those things. There's a question of evergreen contracts at, at South African Airways. Just on that alone, we don't think if you've got an ever contract that a company, the company is getting the, the, the value that it's supposed to get from, from there. So we're then saying putting up all these things together is we will be able to get the efficiencies that you want from, from South African Airways. You would have heard the ministers talking about his interaction and what their interaction with uh, Minister Kukile Quinte, which talks to which which to, which talk to talks to that, right? That what's happening there. We know that there's a, there's a role of agriculture and so on. We, uh, the minister doesn't have a, a choice, by the way, when it comes to radical economic transformation. That's the policy of the ruling party, right? The question of, 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 of land redistribution and so on is also the policy of, of, of the ruling party. So me and the minister, we don't have a choice. We are there, we are deployees, and we must implement ANC policy. So there shouldn't be any uh, uh, 
apprehension about that, right? It needs to happen. We, as a matter of fact, uh, we have spoken with the, the three rating agencies since after the budget. The last one was at 7 o'clock this morning. All what I can tell you, they have asked us questions. We have we've told them. They, they do raise their concerns. They say, uh, uh, you, you are preaching the expen uh, 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 expenditure ceiling. Uh, and we are saying, wait until we come to the end, end of the year. Um, they are concerned about the, uh, the, 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 the deficit, which is, which is increasing. You know, those are the things that they, they look at. Uh, I'm, I, do, I think those things are important. They are necessary, but not sufficient conditions. I think at the end of the day, when we balance those things, we should see development at the end of the day. But these are the issues that they are raising, and we've been able to respond to them that, look, we're not, we're not on 60% on, on, on uh, debt to GDP ratio. All what we are saying is that if we don't do anything about that, right? If we don't do anything right, right, uh, that's where we may end up. So we can't be judged on on the sixty percent uh, uh, debt to GDP ratio. Let's be judged on on, on what we have. But again, we are then saying the measures that we are taking be between now and the end of, of of the financial year, or perhaps uh, between now and and the 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 the, the budget. So there will be things that the minister will be announcing that will be coming from SONA, which will show that one, one, two, three, we've done, and say these are the things which are, which, which are coming up. So it gave us an, an opportunity to interact with them. They are here next week. We'll continue with the, inter with, with the, with the, with the interaction. Look, they, they are in America. We're here. We also have got a, 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 an opportunity to say here is, here's the problem, but that's how we intend solving it. Here are the building blocks that we have, we, have, we have put, but we also know that we need to interact with our uh, with with the business community in South Africa to say let's 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 work together. The minister did point to certain things that we're already doing uh, with, with 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 business, but we say we can we have an opportunity of of doing more.